the brunch bitches february 23rd it's national margarita day we in the studio per usual with a bartender and cocktails and stuff to talk about i'm anise yvonne your host and i have kevin reed here at the table with me are you gonna help me do a little co-hosting too today absolutely Okay, can you speak into your mic, uh, baby love? Yeah, man, I do this. So I, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Is that better? That is much better. You got your Barry White going on. We need to hear all of that. <laughs> well, welcome to the brunch, bitches. Thank you for having me. I'm absolutely glad to have you here. We've been talking about this for a minute. Yes, getting I you in here. Like October? Um, since October, yeah. We've been talking about getting you here. Now you're here. And you're here on the best day possible. Why is it the best day? Because it's National Margarita Day. Every day is National Margarita Day. Every day is <laughs> National Margarita Day. Thank you. Thank you. But, you know, we always need a reason to celebrate. You know, we always do. But we're here, and we're going to talk about all types of things. Have you uh, gotten caught up on the way we do things here at the Brunch Bitches? I've seen a few episodes, but I think I'm just going to follow your lead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen a few of your people in the business. I've seen some here, I've seen business. some in the um, houses. <laughs> I've, I've seen some interesting conversations. Some interesting conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we always have some inter interesting conversation going on. But, um, so you are kind of caught up. So you know that we talk about everything and all kinds of things. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take a music break. And then we're going to come back. Um, hopefully, can we come back with some drinks and talk about um, who your sponsor and Absolutely. everything? We can talk about everything. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. You know who I'm calling Who's going with you On a trip to New Orleans Ain't no trust left in me When you're going test in me I'll be the man I should be I'll be on top I'll tell the truth Prioritize for me and you
She saw you call and she didn't mind it. No, I wouldn't say I apologize, but I might do it again. By the time you hear this song, girl, I plan on moving in. You don't put it past me, and I don't blame you, cause I got home late again. You snatch off my glasses when you ask me where the hell you been. I've been sneaking and geeking, sneaking and geeking. Sneaking and geeking. Sneaking and geeking, sneaking and geeking. Sneaking and geeking, sneaking and geeking, sneaking and geeking. You don't know me like I know me when I'm by myself Tears running from my pupils going through some hell I last shot when I'm mad, I think I need some help Lord. Praying for some wisdom cause this righteous shit is hard It's harder in the dark when you fight against the odds The point of my existence if I ain't doing my job Then I ride around the district see who's really living hard My brothers got kids now, my niece is in high school Where do the time go? I know it's my job So to take care of everything we only get older See when I talk to my old hoes hope she know that we over Hold up, see I got bitches up from Brooklyn Living like this shit is crooklyn that abortion Got me shook in my depression, running wild since I almost had a child. Now I'm always pulling out, and after that, I smoke some loud. Ain't really fun for me. Ayy, little bit of knowledge and some company. Damn, slaying all my demons when they come for me. See, I've been focused, never loafing. Being honest with my feelings, hope me cope with all oh, love. You do realize this is the third time you've done this, right? The third time that you've made plans with me, that I've gotten dressed, that you've disappeared, and then just not fucking called or text, or even been like my nothing. This is the third fucking time you've done this to me, and I'm so sick of it. This is why I was mad at you the first time. And then I actually get excited to see you, and you do it again, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. It's so disrespectful. No, like, what the fuck did I do to you no, to be ignored? No, call, no, 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 Wait, like put it. my heart and soul into black matter, still I'm broke I've been putting all this work in, bitch, I ain't seeing results I need guarantees, so I'm out here playing C's I can't even love you if a nigga never loved himself Lord, this shit is crazy, you love me like you say you do You gotta show your patience, Hey, I can't even fuck with you If all you do is save me, uh, weed in my lungs Feeling numb, just looking at the man that I become the chosen one Yeah, I've been taking time to myself, just reflecting on my blessings yeah, 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 I've been taking time to myself, just reflecting on my blessings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas hate to see you win. Never thought you would jump ship. Everybody can't be friends. This shit all about business. Niggas do not know the difference. Why I gotta feed my children? 
my Ain't got no time for your feelings. Tell them the O said we're missing. I've been calling out the guy for some answers. But last night I got the tone, man, no answer. Man, my baby, yeah, he crying, he need pampers. Who the fuck is gonna do it if it ain't me? I think I'm going crazy. Cause I've been up late nights, stop from getting lazy. Or complacent, I think I'm changing. I tried to make all you love me, you slept on my heart. Yeah, yeah. It's like someone didn't turn off the light and now everything's dark. Yeah. And I need you to love me. Yeah. Said I need you to love me. We are back. Sorry, we were preoccupied. We were preoccupied because we have a um, we have Kevin here in the studio, and we have Patron here in the studio. Roca Patron, to be exact. Can I see that bottle? Absolutely. Let's look at this. So we have Roca Patron. We have the Reposado. I was just telling you off air how I love it dark. I love the dark tequilas. You got to have some age on it. You have to have some age on it. You got to have the right tequila. Like you got to have the right mate. Can't be too young. Can't be you too young. You don't want young. them too old. They got to have a don't, little bit of experience, but not worn out. There you go. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> See? So are we going to take a sip really quickly? Absolutely. And cheers? Is this me? Yes, right it here? Is. You see how civilized we are? We have <laughs> coasters and everything. So cheers, Kevin. And cheers to um, Patron. So Patron is owned by Bacardi? It is owned by Bacardi. Okay. Um, this was made available for us from Southern Glaciers and Alexis Rios. Okay, say that into the mic for Alexis us. Alexis Rios and Southern Glaciers, they made this possible for us to okay. be able to highlight their tequila for National Margarita Day. Okay. And it's better than I thought it was. I've only had the silver, and by her giving us Reposado, Nejo. Oh, you had only had the silver. Exactly. Oh. Only had them so young ones. So now you know. You only had the young <laughs> ones, right? Talking all that mess, and you only had the baby one. <laughs> but no, so now you know how beautiful this is, correct? Absolutely. And I'm with um, Trump. This ain't no shot. <laughs> this is my shot. That's your, okay. Even though I'm known as the drink builder at my house, I'm known as the drink bully. So okay. everybody knows when they well, come to the house. I'm gonna take a be baby drinking. sip because um, we still got to do this show. So I'm gonna say cheers. <laughs> Thank you for this imbibing. <laughs> there we have it. It's actually pretty smooth. <laughs> you right over there? It's very smooth. I was, I was for the Did you grow a little extra on your beard? I should never this. This is like you said. Yeah, it's smooth. That's what I'm saying. You have to know what to drink and what to buy. You know what I mean? You should not wake up with a headache from this. You know you the know? difference between this and the regular Patron, right? No way. So what they do is they actually do this the old style. They have this huge rock. And it's pushed in a circle to crush all the agave. agave down. And instead of filtering out all those fibers, mm -hmm. they use that when they ferment it. So that's Ooh. why you get that smoother taste to it. So they use every bit of the agave. Yes, Patron is very um, sustainable. They use everything that's left over and they give it to the agave farmers. Yeah. They use this mulch. They have, um, they take other people's leftovers and give it to the mulch for other farmers. This is something right. that they're trying to take full circle so that once the product's used, there's no waste. And isn't the isn't there like a, the, a Patron, um, so I don't know how if tequila is distilled or what, you know, like with the proper term, but I know that there's like a, a, their factory is, don't they get where their factory is, don't they get the agave local? Yes, they have Okay, because I saw that on um, some show or something. Yeah, it's called Hacienda. Okay. And actually bartenders, once we complete this class, that allows us to be eligible to come and stay for a week in there and we get to watch the whole process from farm to glass. That's dope. That's dope. And it's actually necessary if you're going to be representing a product. But yeah, I saw that they, they use the local agave farmers and that everything is local. Absolutely. That's beautiful. And so, they keep the money there. They don't 
they don't take it leave for, and yeah they, it they keep the people there they have them working that's a good thing okay that makes me want to support Patron more yeah I, I like a lot of Bacardi's products I mean okay. I'm not a rep for anybody right 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 but, but you like a lot of their I products I do like a lot of their products and they've done a a lot of good for me, supporting me with things. So okay. I have nothing bad that I can there even you go. say about. But I like what I hear. I like sustainable. I like using local farmers. I like keeping the money there in their, you know, home and allowing them to prosper, you know, not just coming in. And sticking with tradition, being able to do things the way they did it hundreds of years ago. Exactly. And still have the modern one with regular Patron. There you go. Cheers to that. You want to take another baby sip? I'm, t- <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay, okay. Okay, let me, let me up the sip just a little bit. Okay, damn, drink builder, <laughs> drink bully. <laughs> okay, for those who can't see, he just t- we're drinking um, Roca Patron Reposado out of a mason jar. It was supposed <laughs> to be a little shot. Okay, That's it is not. Shot. It's, it's a few <laughs> shots. And he just took it down like a champ. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you're supposed to drink. It. That's how you're supposed to drink. But I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I'm bitching out right now. <laughs> it's okay. Wait till your next guest comes. They're gonna have to get one too. We got we gonna get their ass because they late. We gonna fire his ass up. <laughs> he was probably watching that fight last night. He probably was watching that <laughs> fight last night, taking some damn shots. <laughs> but we're gonna take a music break and come back. Um, you got everything you need over there now, so we're gonna let's get it started. We'll have margaritas when we come back. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But tell me, do you notice? Hey, live by the love, better die by the love, I swear. Yeah, love, say kill for your heart, never die by the lies I share. Sometimes I am not myself, always say I need some help. Showed you everything I need, but you was thinking about yourself. Fuck you now, I'm selfish. Uh, is you down to ride, love? Seem like everything ain't everything up on your side, love. Look you in your eyes and tell another lie. It's not the fact that I don't love you, it's some things I need to know. Would you live for me, die for me, love, and kill for me, cry for me, yeah, yeah, and love you give is all this cheap, and love, and but tell me, do you notice, would you live for me, die for me, love, kill for me, cry for me, yeah, yeah, and the love you give is all this cheap, but tell me, do you notice, you always emotional. You tell me you love me, and then willing to let me go. You act like I need you. Right. The fuck do you mean? Yeah. I'm down for whatever. Love. It's better than love. Hey. Me like you need a nigga, baby, better know I ain't good for you Always held you down, I play the fool for you Gave you everything, I broke the rules for you Better chill out with all that nonsense Fuck you think I ain't honest The way you think it ain't logic Did but love, we departed Feeling like certified, I don't get no fucks Middle fingers up, girl, you lame Talking like you about, she better give it up Know your place, cause you know I'm about it I'm the only one, never change Bitch, you never doubt it, cause you owe me one Yeah Believe that, would you live for me, die for me, love, and kill for me, cry for me, yeah, yeah, and love you give is all this cheap, and love, and but tell me, do you notice, would you live for me, die for me, love, kill for me, cry for me, yeah, yeah, and love you give is all this cheap, and love, but tell me, do you notice, Moments, uh, you always emotional. Love. Tell me you love me, though. Then willing to let me go. You act like I need you. Know. The fuck do you mean? I'm down for whatever. It's better than leaving. Would you die for me? Would you kill for me? Or would you cry for me? Tell me, tell me, cry for me. Love. Tell me, tell me, die for me. Yeah. Can, can I use can your food stamps? Can I bring the credit?
I can tell you why. I hear your raps, most of you selling lies. Then with 12 pull up, you gon' act surprised. Boof bar, you all on the gram trapping. Or on your Facebook Live looking for reactions. Show you every move all day and night. Selling your whole soul just to get some likes. If it ain't for the money, nigga, why bother? If you think you're going hard, nigga, go harder. Another day, another dollar. Yeah, we put in work, but we work smarter.
back. Oh my God. These tr- first of all, let me take my sip. I'm gonna take my sip on air. I didn't put all the pins by me. Okay, so Ross said she didn't went to several spots yesterday drinking margaritas because it's National Margarita Day. I call it National Margarita Weekend. And she said this margarita that we have sitting in front of us is the best one she's had yet. So um, I need a drum roll or something. Look, because I'm getting ready to take this drink. Wait a minute. I need a drum roll. First of all, I want everybody to see how beautiful this is. We are, um, this margarita was made with Roca Patron uh, Reposado. And Kevin, can you explain to people the difference between a Patron Blanco, a Patron Reposado, and then Añejo? It's all about age. Into Um, the mic. Tell them about age. It's all about age. So um, the silver is going to be your youngest. Yes. Your Reposado is your for lack of a better term, middle age. That was great to say, your middle age, <laughs> Your midlife yeah. crisis. Yeah. And Anejo is your experience where you don't have time for any of the That's foolishness. It's smoother, it it's darker, it. it's straight to the point. Yes, but we are drinking the Reposado today. And this is beautifully made. What is our, um, what is our jar? This is the drum roll. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, <laughs> you are absolutely correct. <laughs> You are absolutely accurate, Ra. So I don't like oh my God, to use wait a, a lot I'm going to taste of, the rim. Tasting the rim, ladies. <laughs> the rim shot. Mm. I don't like to make my drinks too sweet. So I instead of like using sweet. triple sec or simple syrup, I actually use a dry curacao. Ooh. So it's an orange liqueur. Oh. They make cognac. Yeah. Um, oh, my god. I use that. Fresh, First of all, the combo. Fresh lime juice and that tequila. Did everybody taste a little of the, the, the garnish on your rim with the drink? It's the bomb, right? Yeah, the salt rim is cayenne pepper, dark chili powder, and black volcano salt. My goodness. This is everything, Kevin. And these were taken from a Patron competition that I went to. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we're also having some... Um, Guatemalan food made by a small little restaurant over in District Heights called La called La Micochina, and we're having polo, polio a la crema right now. And how do you guys like it? Is it good? This so that restaurant is like family owned, and I met the grandmother. The grandmother actually gave me a plant. She gave me a plant because I come all the time, and you know they know our order, they know what we like, and she gave me a plant. And um, but she makes the best polio de crema, and so that's what we're having today. The prices are very inexpensive. Um, you can take your family and feed your family modestly, you know, on a budget. They give you healthy servings where two people can actually share one meal, you know. And this polio de crema was only nine ninety five. Yeah. It's a good deal. It's a good deal, right? Especially when you're a family, when you have a family and, you know. So I like like that about them. I like that it's white meat, but it's not dry. It's not dry at all. how to cook white meat, right? Yeah, it's not dry at all. It's delicious. Pair it with this margarita on National Margarita Day, Roca Patron. Um, You can't ask for better. The brunch bitches, right? You know, so Kevin, tell me how you got into bartending because nobody, we talked about this on the last show, nobody ever just says, I'm going to be a bartender <laughs> when I grow up. Well, how did I you get into when bartending? I grew up, but I did just decide one day that I'm going to start bartending. So. Everybody decides one day they're just going to bartend. But how did, what brought you to that decision? So I was actually doing security. And okay. I wanted to be able to control my own income. And I have to worry about what other people are mm. going to tell me my worth is. Yes. So I was actually on a security job, and I decided to buy a Groupon <laughs> <laughs> to learn Let's how to buy. Let's hear this. Time. Let's hear this. <laughs> and um, I finished it in three hours, and I was like, "This isn't. This isn't going to teach me anything." No. So, what do I always do? I talk to strangers. Mm-hmm. And I met um, actually one of my old clients when I was working at Toyota. Okay. She let me work at Olive Garden. I okay. Hated it. <laughs> of course you did. But it was enough for me to say I had experience for other people to hire me. Got you. And it seems like everything's always grown from the last position, which I like. Okay. Um, right now I'm at Myron's Mixon over in Old Town Olive Garden. I saw that. They are probably the best 
for scheduling in this field. Yeah. If I say I need time off for when I got married or when I have a kid. And when you did Chocolate City's Best and. They just say, as long as you put it in a week before. Yeah, they, you're good. And when I come back, my schedule. Okay, we're going to we're gonna do a field trip to um, your spot. Tell everybody your spot again. Myron's Mixon, 220 North Lee Street, Alexandria, Virginia. Right in Old Town, correct? Two blocks over from King. You can get on the Metro. Take the, take the trolley. Take the free trolley. The trolley drops you off. Park your car. Job. Take the free trolley. Go to, uh, it's Myron's Mixin. Mixin. And Kevin is there behind the bar. Follow the drink, follow drink builder, not the drink builder. Follow drink builder to find out when he's on shift and go and get one of these fabulous, amazing. Every day except Sunday and Wednesday, I'm usually there. There you go. We're going to take a field trip. We need to take a field trip there. And, you know, go. We actually, and, um, this Wednesday, Myron's coming up from Georgia. Okay. He is actually the mayor of the town that he lives in. That's how. Oh, that's dope. Two-time mayor. Two-time mayor. He is doing a 150-pound pig with two sides for like $22. Oh, and my God. There taking pictures, signing people's right. books. And okay, for, you, for those of you who eat pork, that's cool. I don't eat pork, <laughs> but, but they do have other things, correct? Pulled chicken, fried okra. There we go. I love fried okra. Fried okra. I live for dollars. fried okra. Oh, my gosh. So, okay. So, we're going to do a field trip there and come see you, Kevin. And, you know, we're going to get it all together. Tell me when. So, we, I will. I definitely will. So, you, so you've watched our show. Mm -hmm. So, you do know that we do what's called True Story. Okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> or you didn't watch. You don't know. So, you have to. So, while I'm telling my true story, you have to think of a true story. And you have to actually share it with all of us okay is there a topic or any true story no any true story okay. just tell us the best shit ever we have a phone call hi Hello. who's calling the brunch pitches is this nico is this cousin nickel it is hi, hi cousin nickel yay Cousin Nickel, for those who don't know, so Cousin Nickel, a lot of people have been asking, like, where's Cousin Nickel, where's Cousin Nickel? And we've been saying Cousin Nickel is in Georgia. She went to take care of some family stuff. And, you know, everybody has been drinking and pouring out drinks for Cousin Nickel like she, you know, like she gone, but she ain't gone. <laughs> How I appreciate you? that. I appreciate no, especially. Breaking your day. Woohoo! No, that's a win. What was that? That wasn't us. Hello? That was, oh, Cousin Nickel, are you at work? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You scared Trump. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Hi, Cousin Nickel. How so y'all doing? Today? We're good. We're here with Kevin. Kevin Hi, Reed. Kevin. He participated in Chocolate doing? City's Best Competition. And I hate, you know, I hate to rub this in because Cousin Nickel, this is her favorite, by the way. Anybody who knows Cousin Nickel knows that she loves a good Patron. What we're going to do is we're going to leave that bottle here. And okay. when she comes back, you got to at least leave, save her one shot. I will definitely save her. I will, I will do that. I will definitely save Cousin Nickel a shot. We'll put her name on it. And so I, we'll be looking forward to it. Cousin, cousin Nickel, he said he's going to write Cousin Nickel on it, on the bottle. Okay. Ow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do that. I'll post it, and if you, the line's not where it was on the picture, you, you know, know what, Kevin? Okay, now you're doing too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> right. Don't slow down. down. Slow Don't down. down. <laughs> slow down, Kevin. Okay. Cousin Nickel, we were just getting ready to get into true stories. Can you tell us a true story? Anything? Can you give us a quick true story of anything that's happened, whether it was you, somebody else, and make it juicy? You see an interesting go uh, what, what's the subject anything? it doesn't need you don't anything any true story you want to tell oh you caught me on the spot i know uh <laughs> pull one uh, out of the bag because listen you've been you you know some interesting shit um we could talk about one when we were together well which one should we pull out <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure there are tons there you yeah, go. Kevin just want everybody just want to <laughs> ring this bell. Why don't we talk about when we found the drunk girl on the side of the road coming from the go go? Yeah. Coming from yeah. what, what's the name of that go go out there? What's I'm having a, a brain fart right now. In in Fort I can't Washington. Think of the name of it. Martinis. Martinis. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. 
We were coming from Martinez. Did he find one too? Huh? I said, did he find one too? He knew exactly. What <laughs> he, he knew exactly. Because <laughs> Nichols said, did you find a drunk lesbian on the side of the road too? No, so, I used to live in Fort Washington. I know Martinez. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he used to live in Fort Washington. That's how he knows Martinez. So this is a true story. So, okay, this is going to combine Nickel. So thank you for calling in, Cousin Nickel, because we can combine our true stories. So Cousin okay. Nickel and I were at Martinez. We were seeing, I want to say, Junkyard Band. I think it was Junk. Okay. And Cousin Nickel yeah, had noticed was. this young lady in the bar, and she kept ordering... Um, and she kept these ordering these blue drinks. These blue drinks, exactly. These blue drinks, okay. And so she kept ordering these blue drinks, and she was just drinking them, drinking them, drinking them, drinking them. And so cousin Nickel, she doesn't know why. She just noticed this, and it just it caught her. It. it hit her spirit in a way like something just ain't you know this ain't gonna turn out good you drinking all these <laughs> drinks with all this blue curacao in it it just ain't gonna turn out well she saw the car crash happening she saw the wreck before it crashed okay she saw yeah, it coming I don't know why and so we we left and there's this bus stop it's like three in the morning there's no buses coming and there's this this girl laying on the ground at this bus stop alone at three in the morning Okay, so Cousin Nickel pulls over, and so, you know, I, I join in. I'm like, are you all right? We like, come on, come on, just get in the car. Because we did not want to, Cousin Nickel, first of all, did not want to leave her on the side of the road. Like, it just wouldn't have set well with neither one of our spirits. Of course. Okay, so then, well, so, but you, so what, we get her in the car, right? And then we asked her, and then Nickel asked her, could she tell us where she lived? She's, I mean, when I say out of it, slurring, blind, blackout, drunk. Okay? So we get her in the car. She finds somehow some way to tell you where she lives, Cousin Nickel, right? Uh-oh, she might have dropped. Okay. Because <laughs> she's at work, guys. So she <laughs> finds some way somehow to tell us where she lives. Right. And we get there. And so she couldn't even go all the way up the stairs alone. So we get her up the stairs. So mind you, like, she's presenting masculine lesbian, tank top, sweatpants, scully on her head. You know what I'm saying? And we get her up the stairs, and she just keeps thanking us. Thank You know, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. So Cousin Nickel actually gets her in the door, takes the keys out of the door, you know, gives her the keys, tells her to lock the door. Okay, and she's just like, oh, my God, thank you. But she said, what Cousin Nickel said was, I noticed her drinking all of these drinks. She said all she was thinking was, "This, I don't think this is going to turn out well. You know what I mean? She said, I don't think this is going to turn out well. And it did it. We found her at the bus stop at 3 in the morning. And all we said was, she has no friends. Excuse me, guys. I love you all the pieces. I got to go. Bye, Cousin Nickel. Thank you for calling, man. Bye, bye, I finished bye, your story. Bye, bye. <laughs> Shout out to Cousin Nickel for calling in from Georgia, guys. So, you know, the, end of the, 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 the whole point of the story was that she had no friends. When you're a drinker in your crew, first of all, you should take responsibility for yourself. But you should definitely have, a, have someone in your crew, right, whom you know has your back. Take that phone. Don't let them send that drunk text. Confiscate them phones. Okay, girl, you don't need another one. Drink some water. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do that. We do that. You know, we like, oh, okay, you had three here. You got your water coming in. Your water's going well. Did you eat? And we always ask, did you eat? Because we're known for, like, having some salad and then, and then drinking a drink builder drink. Talking about we all right. Okay, look. You already got me tipsy up in here, Kevin. Look, I'm not fuck with you right now. <laughs> so what? Okay, our guest just showed up late as fuck. You didn't miss the food. You didn't miss the drinks. You didn't miss the music. What the hell? You on the spot right now? No, what? What the fuck is your true story? I, mean, I apologize. It's just like talking gotta, to the mic, please, sir. I apologize. You know, I just got to be a father first. So okay, so, that's that's all cool I and just well. I into something like. 
Okay. You ran into something this morning. What you run into? Tell your true story. <laughs> I mean, I just went and got my daughter from this tea party because I took her to a tea party. So speaking to the mic, I went and got my daughter from this tea party. She went to a little, like, a little. You tea ain't know party. she had a tea party coming up. Nah, I did. I did. But when I got there to initially pick her up, like the girl was answering the phone. So like you know, and you didn't bang on the door. I was like, I did. <laughs> it was a sleepover tea party. Yeah, it was a sleepover like tea party and stuff like that. You ain't arranged with her last night to pick her up a little early. Yeah, I mean, the girl, she all over the place. So why was your daughter there at that tea party? She, 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 she's good. When you knew, how if the girl all over the place, and you knew you was coming she, to I the brunch, like, bitches. I feel, I feel like she had too many, too many kids at once. That's why I had to, she she wanted to stay longer. But I was like, nah. I don't know. Okay, I'm bored with the story already. Yeah. All right, you get get it together, um, <laughs> no. sir. I'm sorry, I apologize though, but I go. No, this I'm, was your opportunity, I'm not trained. mine. You don't gotta apologize to us. I'm, this was your I'm opportunity. Trained. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. And what's your whole what's your whole name? Trey what? Trey Jones. Trey Jones. Yeah, with two Z's. Two Z's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jones. Okay, like Jones, well we're gonna like take joke. a we're gonna take a break and possibly play one of your songs. Right. You weren't here, so we didn't play your music. Yeah. You know, have you tuned into the brunch bitches before? Yes. Okay, I see you friends with the Sweezo and them crew. Yeah, you know they show up on time. Yeah, I know, I know. And That's you know they brother. always here. That's my brother. And you know they they sits at the table and puts on the earphones and on the mic promoting their stuff. Right, Trey. Right, right. All right, right. shout That's out to Trey, brother. Daddy being a daddy. Uh, uh, you're not a baby daddy. You a daddy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to you being a daddy and black love and all that stuff. I like your jersey. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank glad you made it, sir. I'm glad I did. Too. And your baby girl is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank All right. Did you yeah. participate in the tea party? Huh? Did you participate in the tea party? Oh, no, I actually didn't. It was, you did it? Was it? Like a Do you have tea parties with her? Like All female thing. At home? Do y'all have tea parties? Y'all nah, don't? Not really. Y'all really. don't? Y'all ain't no tea parties? Nah. Do y'all play with the dolls? Yeah. Okay. We do a lot of things. Y'all like, dress, you dress we, up the dolls for her? all day, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you yeah. would. Do, okay. Well, she didn't like the slime. Like, we into slime. Y'all into slime, and she like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Are you a single daddy? Yeah. Okay, ladies, he's single. He's a single daddy because you need somebody to help you organize your schedule I and do. pick up baby girl from the tea parties. I do. I do. He hosts more tea parties at home. I would do. All right. We're going to play one of Trey Joins' songs. Palm trees, and then we're gonna come back, okay? Because I'm tipsy and I need to eat some more of this food. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Woke up early this morning, think it was God's way back. Don't be calling my jack, taking no calls, cause I'm but he cannot harm me Can put a smile on your woman But I am a dog ay, ay. Walk around back All you see is palm trees Rolling up pack And all you smell is bomb weed I took her out back And she let him palm trees So your bitch let him palm trees And we got some bomb weed ay. Had to raise up the bar today I just know I'm a star, babe I just had to move far away Met a bitch on a Broadway Said she liked the new swag way Cause she know just what swag say Ay, ay What the shit from the heart today from the heart. Had to get it the hard way uh, Even though it was our way That was way back in middle school We was young but had endless tools New swap chain, endless jewels Bust the stupid ass dope moves We ain't worried about interviews Cause we rock the whole interview I'm a born sinner now I got used to the winning now Play the cards that was dealt And I turn this shit to winning now The devil all on me I'm shaking them all I'm shaking me. them all oh, Who you think he next up now? Yeah, that's what they all that's say, they all say. I got success in my vision I got it in arm um, I got success in my vision I got it in arm um, Woke up early this morning Think it was God's whoa, way whoa, whoa. Don't be calling my jack whoa. Taking no calls Cause I'm with them rats but he cannot harm me Can put a smile on your woman But I am a dog Walk around back All you see is palm trees
Ayy, rollin' up pack, a nice mess bomb We, ayy, we I took her out back, and she let them palm trees So your bitch let them palm trees And we got some bomb we Ayy, devil get a bar, devil get a bar Devil, we know this walk shit God Know this walk shit God Know this walk shit God Trees. I like that. Thank Who did the beat? Uh, Cash LP. You chewing? His name is, <laughs> you yeah, I'm chewing sorry. or his whatever? Is, his, his name Cash LP, and he's from like um overseas or whatever. Talking to the mic. Yeah, his name Cash LP. Cash he's LP. He's from overseas. Where? Um, I'm not even sure. You don't remember? Yeah, I think it's like Amsterdam or like the Netherlands. Okay. Oh, Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Right. Shout out to Cash LP yeah, from um the Netherlands. Me. He reached out to me. Uh huh. And I just like converse with him like through email and Instagram and stuff right. like that. And he found me and we came up with something. He was just like, Man, ain't nobody ever read this beat like this. Like it's a that's a dope I, beat yeah, though, right? I, I, I like bought it. He was he was like, Man, you ride red rode the mess out the beat. Like, yeah, that. yeah. That's a dope beat. I like that. Like we pushing it, we spit everything. You know? Where you get your where do you where does your whole flow, your your musical style come from? Um like, what would you say? Speaking like, to the mic. Who I'm like inspired to or like what? Who you're inspired by? Where does it come from? How do you, when you come up with your music and your songs and you write your lyrics and, right. you know, what? where does it come from? Uh, come from the heart. Comes from the heart? Yeah, would it be like typically like how I'm feeling or something like that? Okay, but, where are you um, from? I'm from here. I'm where? From, where here? From the, um, Maryland. Walker Mill, Maryland. Okay. Yeah. So you from PG County, right? right okay, right. so from the Walker Mill areas. But I mean, right. we have people all over that listen to the show. They don't right. know you. Yeah, they don't yeah, know yeah, where yeah, here right, is. Right, they don't right, know. Right. So you're from uh, PG County, Maryland, Walker right. Mill, Walker Mill Road, all that stuff. Right, right, okay, right, where'd you go right. to high school? Uh, in Capitol Heights in Central. But then, like, I moved. Like, mm -hmm. I moved to Cleveland. Like, and I was like bouncing over Cleveland. Yeah. So. What's in Cleveland? Code. <laughs> <laughs> And nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's cool though. It's a cool city. That's like my second home. So. Okay, who was there? Was it family? Yeah, yeah family. All my family, like okay. from there. Like all my family from. All my, of them are from there. Yeah, like my father's side and my mother's side. Both. Yeah. Really. But I don't know how we end up here. So I was great. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was great to ask. Like my mother just like up and like. Oh, we can tell you were raised here because he said yeah. my mother, yeah. my mother. He's from the D he's from the DMV area because yeah, <laughs> he said my mother. <laughs> yeah, I was born here, but you were too, right, Kevin? Yeah, I'm actually a third generation Washingtonian. I'm fifth. Well, ring the bell. <laughs> Shout out. I'm fifth generation DC. Well, yeah, we're generations deep. This guy asked me yesterday, as a matter of fact, he said, um, "Well, where's your where does your family, you know, come from?" Outside of DC, I'm like a hell if I know. We're five generations in. I don't know. Right. If you're here and you have more than three generations, you know you got Proctor's, Swans, and Newmans in your family, or something, <laughs> or Joneses. Yes, because my family is the Joneses. I'm mean, we might be cousins. Actually, <laughs> we could be. Actually, you know what? But no. But my grandmother's maiden name. Um. Oh, geez. Um, I. I I'm having a brain fart right now because she hasn't used it. I mean, since she was like in her 20s, and my grandmother's now uh, 89. But um, it's a common name, like one of those that you just. Now, I gotta ask her again, but it's a very common name, you know. But we're five generations deep here. My grandmother was born and raised here. Her mother was born and raised here, and and my daughter and I just found that out like two years ago. We didn't know that her mother was born and raised here as well. Mm. And I was like, really? Yeah. And my grandma was like, yeah. yeah. She said, we run deep. I wish I had more family here. You don't have a whole lot of family I here? I never had no cousins to run to when I got in Oh, damn, that's why stuff. you was late. 
Because you ain't had no damn family here. <laughs> Shit. Well, you need to go borrow some cousins. You know, you're supposed to create cousins. Look, I do, though. I okay? Do. <laughs> the majority of my cousins been created. Like, shit. That's just because we didn't. You depend on those are the ones cousins. you depend on the most. That's just because we didn't grow up together. It's like, that's what we do. Yeah, and yeah. I found out it ain't just black people that do that. If you, right. if I've known you more than 20 years yeah, or yeah, you knew cousin. me as a child, yeah, that's you my cousin. You know what the problem is, though? What? When is that age difference? And you don't know if they... Your play brother, your cousin, your uncle, whoever, and mm-hmm. sometimes switch up which one you call them. That's yeah. true. Now I do have a we have an uncle in the family that's fairly young. We don't call him no goddamn uncle. We call him cousin. <laughs> okay, because I'm like I'm older than your ass. I ain't calling you uncle. Uncle's supposed to be old and wise and shit. I ain't calling your weed smoking <laughs> ass. You're, you're my fucking blunt smoking <laughs> ass uncle. I'm like you my cousin. Okay, <laughs> but no. So what's your true? story Kevin so as I told you earlier I used to do security mm-hmm. um, one of the first clubs that I worked at was for a nightclub oh shit and I was there when we had our Kelly come visit oh shit so when, did he pee on something no <laughs> but I believe everything they said because his security guard who was um on the special uh-huh came up to me uh-huh he's like um, we see you have the great goose um, you have the cranberry juice. Everything's all set up for Mr. Kelly. This is great. Uh-huh. Um, Mr. Kelly needs to have chocolate milk with his Grey Goose. Get the fuck out of here. That's weird. What? Do you know how hard it was to keep a straight face and be like, I need a supervisor? Because I, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. This <laughs> nigga spiking children's chocolate milk at midnight, you perverted motherfucker. Fucker. <laughs> so yeah, we um when I saw the special, I was like, that's the dude. That's the dude. That's the dude. <laughs> oh my god. So the owner of the club at one o'clock in the morning is driving around gas station to gas station to get go- Nestle quick. He ain't go to Sammy Lamb. There's no seven lemons over there near thirty three. Um Yes Leo. it is. The closest thing was was, Young's. was no, the closest seven eleven is Rhode mm-hmm. Island and it was always yeah, this is fur. This is 2007. I know. That 7-Eleven been on like Rhode Island and whatever that street, 9th and Rhode Island. Either way, there's no way that someone's going to get you to drive around there, Austin Martin, to get you some Nestle Quick. No, that's you true. Never, you ain't never found it. <laughs> no, they found it. They found it. And they told us nobody's allowed on stage all night. Okay. So that's my true story. That's your true story. So we don't know what he did with that fucking Nestle Quick and Great Look, Goose. That Nestle Quick was empty when he left. <laughs> He's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, well, he should be convicted weird. and go to jail yeah. just for that shit. You know what? Hey, Ra, he did that shit. <laughs> Whatever they say he did, he, he did, did that, that shit. Handsome. I don't know anybody. If you watch Power and you don't understand that line, he did that shit. Okay. <laughs> Whatever they say he did off the Nestle's Quick and Grey Goose, he did it. Fuck all the testimonies. <laughs> Fuck all of that. Kevin, I'm glad they ain't call you. He a musical genius, though. <laughs> he may be. Yes, he is. No, yes, he is. I know. That's the thing. No, yes, he is. It's but funny, I can no longer listen to the music, though. For it's kind of messed up, though, because right? Because I know that he's singing about little girls. I can't oh, get busy off like that, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel all, all fucked up inside. I know. You didn't vote. He's wrote for so many people. So you know, you know, you so many people. No. All right, well, first of all, most screwed up people are, are great artists. Yeah. The most depressive, the, the suicidal, the you know, the empaths, because the everything. Because so they're in touch with their emotions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm an artist. Right. You know? I'm not a, a fucking child molester. I don't even like children. <laughs> but, you know, still... I'm I'm all kinds of screwed up, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the thing is, when you're in touch with your feelings, like knowing about just nature and earth and life, and you know, and and actually being knowledge on things, that's a lot to carry. Mm. You know, that's a lot to carry. That's why, like, social media sometimes I have to shut down mm. because I'm like, I can't deal with you motherfuckers and all of your stuff. What's messed up is when you're listening to one of the, someone else's songs and he just pops up on the song. You didn't even know it was him. <laughs> Bruno Mars did that song Gorilla. 
I didn't even know he um, R. Kelly did a remix for him. And then Forever. Nestle Quick comes singing and dancing into the damn song. Oh, yes, I Nestle Quick. That. Yeah, I, I didn't know he that either. Talking about making love like a monkey, and I was like, I can't listen to this. I song can't no listen time. to you. <laughs> like R. Kelly, you done fucked up the whole wet dream. Like we was jamming on Bruno Mars because we love him, and then your Nestle Quick weirdo it was ass. Him, Pharrell and Nestle um, Quick Bruno. You see, I can't. I can't. I cannot. Tell us your your true story, Trey. What's your tr- anything? Pull out anything and make it good. Um, Don't make it tea party boring. Which is something like interesting about me or no true story. We told true story. story you you missed one. Your boys. Yeah, story I told man, this shit happened last night. The one you took. Uh, t- you took one for the team. <laughs> what you say? Oh, no, no, we had somebody. We had Ish Talk. We had Ish Talk um, podcast on here, and they they gave the best true stories. And when he t- and AJ talked about taking one for the team, that shit was legendary. Let me think. Really he think. talked about going all the way to Pennsylvania and having to hook up with the ugly girl, so his best friend could hook up with the cute girl. His oh. best friend set him up. Let me. Um, he didn't pay the drive, did he? He didn't pay for gas, did he? No. Okay. He didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he, true story. He had to buy drinks, though. <laughs> Trey, got, you got a juicy one. Yeah, I know you do. He's trying to censor himself. His you don't, don't censor <laughs> over here. Tell a good one. I'm thinking, really thinking, like. What's your sign? When's your birthday? June 30th. I'm a cancer. Oh, my God. I'm June 30th. For real? Are you freaking kidding me? That's I wild. am June 30th. That's crazy. I don't know you nobody got, oh, else. Oh, you got, got I don't know. I do. No, <laughs> I, I never do. met I do. I know else. two other people. Yeah, my cousin, He his is like on the first. Nope, like I'm June after. 30th, and I know yeah. another, a, 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 I mean, a, um, I know a, a July 1st. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm talking Yeah, and I know a, um, a, June, a 29th, a 29th. Yeah, I know a 29th, yeah. uh, July 1st. And that a is so weird. Yeah. So you ain't had no reason to be late June 30th. <laughs> Show ass together. So anyway, June 30, you got stories, nigga. Yeah, I do, I do. You got stories. <laughs> Tell me about that bitch. <laughs> Tell me about that bitch. What she do? Uh, <laughs> Let's take I a remember step. one time I like this, like some uh like I got like two of my emotions and I got in the car and I was like in a long distance relationship or whatever, and, like and I was like all the way in Cleveland, but I would like come here like every uh-huh. month or whatever, like to see my daughter. And one day I just like got mad at the girl and just hopped in my car and like I don't know how I got there. Because I ain't even have enough money. You was all in your emotions. Yeah, I just hopped in the car and drove like five hours. Like, who does that? Like A no, June 30. With no money. A June 30. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking June 30. Man, I filled my tank up like one time. Like, and I was just praying the whole time. Like, young, I hope I make it. Like, because I'm not trying to be in what she do? What did she do? I don't know. <laughs> I probably just got mad. Like you had no plan. You just went straight off the cliff. Like, be you just went straight off the cliff. <laughs> yeah, a fucking June third. I, I be getting mad. Like and I be. Like, I want what I want. Like, that's you know, true. That's that's like, you know that's what I want. you know that is emotional unintelligence though. Yeah, that's emotional unintelligence because you can't operating that way in life gets you nowhere. Mm. It gets you in a lot of mistakes. It do. It gets you in a lot. And right. I know because I've had to grow up and regulate my own shit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know that that doesn't help. But you got there on, yes, a, on some I... uh, fumes and a prayer. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Literally. Right. <laughs> it was wild, though. And then I came and then I, like, brought flowers. And then, like, she, like, grabbed the flowers and then just, like, threw them drinks on the ground. What's like, her sign? Stepped on them drinks. Like, Ooh, what's her sign? <laughs> little heart, heart was like. <laughs> God, like my old little soul. Like. <laughs> What's her sign? Uh, yeah, she was like a Taurus. Yeah, we but we do normally do well with Taurus. Yeah, I mean, I like Taurus. Yeah, I mean, we was good, but like when when y'all was arguing, y'all was arguing. She, yeah. I, that's some shit I would have done now. Yeah. I would have smashed the flowers, said "fuck you, Trey Jones, <laughs> fuck you and your music," and then I would have stepped on the flower and said some soul crushing shit. Yeah. And then five seconds later, I would have been like, "Okay, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that." <laughs> I feel like some people be feeling bad for us like, sometimes. <laughs> What time were you supposed to be there? Were you late for that too? You were late. Yeah, yeah you were late. That's why she threw the flowers. You were late. I fucked up a lot of times. You did. <laughs> so that's why Tor stepped on a motherfucker flowers <laughs> and said, "Fuck you and your heart." I and them flowers. Times. That's why your ass drove five hours on a on films and a prayer. <laughs> okay. 
I still We're gonna take a music break. We're gonna play one more of your songs. Can I have a slight refresher, just a splash in here? Is that all right, Kevin? I'll tell mm-hmm. Kevin. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Angel Baby. Angel Baby. Okay, we're gonna play Trey Jones Angel Baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> off the air about birthdays so trey and i are both june 30s and i was telling him how like and, and look and those people know they know who the fuck they are if you ain't show up on my birthday or you showed up off some bullshit i didn't block you cut you off my daughter give me the list every year so-and-so never responded and so-and-so didn't respond oh they did it that's a good d impression yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, she'd be like they never responded a lot of love i'm just letting you know i do too and I'm appreciative for that. But if you don't give me no love, you're fucking blocked <laughs> on, on a niece's holiday. Yeah, Shit. I got a whole manual written on how to deal with me, how to date me, how to friend me, how to deal with me. I have a manual. You got a manual, Kevin? No. no. I'm pretty upfront. You don't need a book. Yeah, you I can be upfront. But, you know, us women, you know, we have many. Um, I'm pretty sure my wife has a manual. She probably has a manual. Because <laughs> we have many facets to us. There's so many sides. I got to get help with it. If I say fuck you, don't call me. You better fucking call me twice, okay? <laughs> you, you know that many can. You hear that, Trey? Yeah. If I say fuck you, don't call me. How many times you call me? Twice. That's right. <laughs> the fuck? I didn't mean that shit. I was just being a bitch. Like, come on. If I say I don't want to do a goddamn thing with you, that you means I'm hungry. Everything. That means I'm hungry, okay? See, I'd be hurt. I'd be like. I'm damn. fucking the hung- Like, damn, you feel like that for real? And I, then I would say, fuck yeah, I feel like that. But you know what you better do? How many times you gonna call me? Twice. That's right. How old are you, Trey? 
I'm 27. Oh, you a baby. Oh, you still silver. Yeah. He's still, yeah, he's, he's still, still silver. silver. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. He's still silver. He was late, so he missed the talk. We, we're comparing you to, to tequila. Oh, You're bro. still silver tequila. That's the baby tequila. Oh, that ain't bro. age well. Oh, you drinking wow. a grown folk tequila right now. That's oh, midlife wow. crisis tequila. Okay. That, yeah. That's midlife, that's midlife that's crisis that's tequila. That's that sports car. Yeah. That, yeah. That one mate that was a little Right. I bought you? that Porsche. What's that? Yeah. What's um the stuff around the rim? It's uh well I'll let Kevin. We call it lava salt. Oh. So it's black volcano salt, mm. cayenne pepper, and chili powder. You missed out. It's delicious. Oh, bro. Like would you you supposed to like lick that shit? Like after you take you a can, shot or, some shit? or you can just like, or you um, can just drink it. Oh, word. and it gets on your palate. It gets on your tongue. That it's shit, all on your mouth. Shit, look like it's spicy. It's not. You don't do spicy. No, I do. I love. I was about to say, please spicy. don't be a punk. <laughs> nah, I love the fuck out some spicy. Oh, good. You lick the rim? Yeah. Huh? You I know my stomach too, though. No, I said you lick the rim. Pause. Nah. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> oh no, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the brunch, bitches. Get ring the bell, Kevin. That's right. Yeah. That nigga said, <laughs> he tried to catch you. You got no. What uh, I said, no. <laughs> I don't know too much about that, bro. Yeah. I licked the rim. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you could have been like Fury last night, licking that dude's neck. <laughs> uh, that shit was disgusting. Man, I feel mm-hmm. like we lost as a race last night. Shit. I kept saying that like Damn like He just came out And talked all that Look, shit Look he said that's No hold up You said he was watching That fucking fight last night He said that's why Your ass was late man. I watched it this morning And I found a website online That had it posted Oh mm-hmm. But The dude's 6'9 so, I don't know how many of us Are going to fight a 6'9 dude So Alright you fight a 6'9 dude And let me see what he does to you See I ain't You feel me But Deontay Wilder He's like he's big He's not as He big. black. <laughs> but you can fight a and tall dude and still pounds. dominate yeah, you him. You can't. Can. You have to know where to go and the yeah, points to hit. It's all yeah. about how you move you your fall, body. If you mm-hmm. hit somebody somewhere, if you right fought spot, like you did the first fight, uh, it would have been a different story. Uh, but he let him get him out of his game. No, nah, you know what happened? That dude punched him in his ear. His equilibrium I'm talking was about before up. that. <laughs> For he real, did. he When you get yes. hit in your I ear, know, your equilibrium go off. His yeah. shit, he was just off after that. Like no, that nigga he was didn't even up. know that they called the fight. His ex- his trainer had to explain to him. No, he was like, "Why you do that?" <laughs> he said, "Why you do that?" <laughs> like nigga, you off, bro. You about to die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like bro, we gotta get you out of here, bro. <laughs> he was fucked up. You gotta write my checks, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like we did like lose at the race. I was mad, like shit. You damn. supposed to hold it down. You gotta you, let him have one. Or you two. felt the entire race was just yeah, like <laughs> damn, like he's like, supposed to be setting an example, like the entire race. Yeah, honestly, I feel like he had more, um, he had a little bit more swagger to him than the black dude. Yeah, like the black dude had the little gold mask and everything the last fight, and yeah, he came out I mean, there looking like he was gonna do something. He did, he did though. This time. He looked shook from the time he, he got did, that ring. Yeah, he did, though. He, he was did, running though. from him. He was. He was walking up on him. And I seen him hit him with, like, a few jazz. I'm like, oh, shit, I don't know. Wow. There was no point in time. I was like, yeah, this is over. It's done. <laughs> well, look, guys, let's throw up a couple of memes before we go. And mm-hmm. then we're going to talk about social media and where everybody can find you. We're going to throw up some memes. And um, these are my favorite memes of the week that we're going to throw up. And... Um, there's always some memes that pop up on social media that um, crack me up a little, a little extra. <laughs> so, Trump, whenever you're ready, whatever you pick. Okay, this one cracked me up because, okay, first of all, a quick story. I lived in Germany. I used to live in Germany. And in Germany, they actually, like, if you go to the gym, you go to the sauna. I did. If you go to the gym and you live and you go to the sauna and stuff, they get ass naked. At the swimming pools, the, the unisex swimming pools, families, everything, they lay ass naked. And a lot of the men are there naked looking like this. And they're women. And so this reminded me of Germany at the swimming pool where I would be disgusted all of the time. And so if you take the chicken they out of the freezer ass, to thaw it out, look, to thaw out was a person. I'm logging off. I think I did log off after this. <laughs> <laughs> right, he eats nothing but beef. He's bloated, beef and pork. He bloated. He's confident. He confident with them little tiny shorts. He <laughs> is, but in Germany, he would be naked. He would have all of that off. 
disgusting. That's why I'm proud of being American. <laughs> what I mean, the, well, what can he do though? Like he just big, just laying there. He, yeah, that's what they do. They just lay there in the sun at the pool. When you right, mm. you got a woman, you don't get fucked no more. You like man, look. Shit. <laughs> he, you like, don't. Yeah, he doesn't. Men can do that. Women, we can't do you that. Know what? He's probably real loyal. <laughs> <laughs> he might not, but you know what? That's bullshit. He might not be. Not. He might not be. Nope. Listen, I done seen the worst of the worst of him cheat. Okay. Let's go to the next one, Trump. <laughs> put it, the fuck, put it the fuck back as a person. <laughs> Nah, that ain't funny First of all, <laughs> this joint is still funny because I mean, I can see myself now with my kids and shut your ass. Shut your, shut your, shut your ass. Yeah. I do it. Listen, yeah. I always said I'd never do that shit. And my mother, look, my mother still do it to us and we grown. My mother still be like, <laughs> my mother would look at me and she'd be like, Anissa, I don't, don't start that shit. <laughs> okay. So look, so this one cracked me up because it's real as hell. <laughs> Put that shit back. Shut, shut your ass up. <laughs> What's the next one, Trump? <laughs> when a female say I want to come, don't start. Oh, so I got this one from Just Nash the Comedian. So she, we were all, so everybody was commenting under this. So this one was funny because she was like, she was like, so everybody was commenting under this. So this one was funny because for us women, we know that, listen, just because you say, oh, my God, I'm getting ready to come, does not mean that you start going fucking crazy, that you start going ham, as they say, you know, fucking stay in the same, the same energy, keep the same energy. Okay, that's true. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what we do? Yeah, we yeah, yeah. we speed it up so you'll hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We think you motivating us to finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we so, so we are kind of motivating. Like, okay, oh, really? You about to come? All right, hurry the fuck females, up. Okay. Some females do that, though. What? Doing that, like, like I'll be like, man, like, why you stop doing that? I was about to, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you were taking too fucking long. My you God. were taking too long. That's why. And God. that's why we don't tell you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Kevin? <laughs> Kevin said that's why we Kevin said that's why we don't tell you that we about to come. You know what? Touche. I'll take that. That's a hit to the chin. I'll take it. You know. But Trey, you you know, you gotta finish all that food and that drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't leave shit on the table. Uh, so, um, Kevin, tell everybody how to find you. Everything for me is drink builder. Um, and he's Instagram, real easy to find. Yeah. Facebook. You start typing in drink, he pops up. Literally. Yeah, it's pretty much that easy. Yeah, drink builder. My website is the drink builder, though. Okay, drink your builder. website is the drink builder. Because yeah, I was wondering where I got the from. Somebody won't give up that um, address. They're not <laughs> even using it. They asked me $5,000 for it. I said, you can keep it. You can I'll, keep I'll, it. I'll, I'll put And you put the in front of it. There you go. Yeah, because I would not give them $5,000 for that. And, and they're they, still holding on to it. I was about to say, and they're probably not successful. No, they do that as their job. They sell domain names. Oh, that's what they do. Mm, interesting. So maybe they are by holding names hostage. That's what they do. Mm. That's what they do. It's a business for everything. Just yeah. buy a bunch of stuff for 99 cents on GoDaddy and then sell it for it. And then sell it. Wow. Maybe yeah. I'll do that. How do they find you, Trey? Um, Trey Jones. T R A Y J O I N Z Z Z Z Two Z. It's like the same. Where'd you get that name from? Um, around the neighborhood. They, that's what they, they called you. Yeah, and okay. it's kind of like my name is my name, like type thing. Okay, your name is Ashley Trey. My name is Trayvon. Trayvon, like, Trayvon, you know, so. like Trayvon Martin. Yeah, make rest well. Always, happy birthday. Everybody always like to say that, but yeah. I mean, no. What, what else should we Trayvon say? Trayvon, most people know. Yeah, yeah. he's a Trayvon um, that most people know. He just had a birthday. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to him, man. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. Absolutely. I kind of felt the type of way because my name was Trayvon. You should have felt the type of way. Yeah, I do. Everyone should have felt the type of way. I lost a cousin way. like that. Oh, my wow. My cousin Harry is like, yeah. Yeah, and that's I, like, horrible. Put him in my music and stuff. Like yeah, that, make yeah. And stuff. That's crazy. What makes y'all use double Zs? Um, Jones. Okay. So you can say it, Jones. If, because cause it's like, if you write it out, like on a sea of paper, like, it's Jones. Yeah, but, it's like but you wanted to linger. Uh, yeah. I got it. Like, yeah, my man gave me that. And name. Z is is like I had like a rack of female. Z is a master. Um, is a master letter. It's a master. Like if you if you ever like read or followed like um 
Islam or the five percent or anything uh, like yeah they consider that like a master letter oh, for real? Z yeah but I like I like Z's I like Z's I like X's I like Q's I like all of those mm, yeah all master letters they, I, they're not all master letters but I just like all those letters that should just look cool yeah it does <laughs> that you gotta find <laughs> shit to you know you got me over here googling stuff for later I'm just oh. that fucking master letter <laughs> screenshot that that's a beautiful <laughs> thing no that's a beautiful <laughs> thing you know you got each mm-hmm. one teach one you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. but right now what I'm being taught is um, this amazing margarita mm-hmm. from drink builder Kevin, okay. So they can find you again at your spot. Tell them where you are bartending right now. I am at Myron Mixon Pitmaster Barbecue. They also can hire you, right? Absolutely. Um, Tell them where to go. I do free consultations. So you can send me a message on Instagram or contact me at thedrinkbuilder.com. There you go. And And are you on Title or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All platforms. My music on all platforms. Um... Apple right. music, title, everywhere, everything, yeah, everything, everywhere. Just type in, just space it. And YouTube. what did we hear today? Tell them the songs um, that we heard today. You heard Palm Trees. That mm-hmm. was a single that I dropped, um, like last year or whatever. Um, we heard Palm Trees and uh, Angel Baby. And Angel Baby. Yeah, with Sweezo. Shout out to Sweezo. Okay, shout out to Sweezo. That's our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They'll be here soon. Yeah, we just did that. I did like some couple shows with them since I've been back. Okay. And all that or whatever. Like I think he's trying to start up like a tour or something. I might be. Yeah, he like, is. So my bro, like, okay. Yeah. Like, How'd you meet the um Suizo guys? Um, from back like this was years ago. Like, bro pulled up like one of my friends around the way, and he was shooting videos at the time. Okay. Like, like he was shot my man video, and ever since then, like we just got cool. Y'all been cool. And then I started messing with my man camera, my one of my cameramen, Remy Allure. Okay. And then he was messing with him too, so we just came around and came cool. Right. And like hell yeah, like we was grinding, <laughs> like, and like we was on the same energy. Those like, guys you know? work really, really hard. Yeah, I know, I know. They yeah. put in a lot of time I'm, and energy and effort and work, yeah, and know. they really. Are manifesting what they want. Yeah, I, I told bro, like, I'm like, like no bullshit. Super proud of them. Yeah. I just came back because I was like in in Cleveland. I went back to Cleveland. What the hell were you doing again? What were you doing there though? <laughs> like what exactly? I mean, literally, what were you doing? How did I get there? No, I what like, were you doing? Oh, I went to school. You were going to school there. Yeah. I did you finish? School. Yeah. You you have a degree? Yeah. So you're not a dummy? No. Because some people have degrees and they're idiots. I'm still stupid. Oh. <laughs> you, know? you feel me? That's cool. Like, I be dull sometimes. I be, I be a little off sometimes. <laughs> okay, being dull and being off are two different things. Nah, I'm fucking with you, though. I'm fucking with you, though. Nah, but you, but you have a degree? Yeah. What is your degree in? mean shit, though. It should. You make it mean something. It only means nothing if you don't want it to mean anything. So what is your I degree in? never want to do it, though. What is your degree in? It's I got it. Okay. Uh, I went uh, in for um, a two year program. I so got, you have an I associate? Got, I, got, yeah, I got a trade actually. Okay, no trades are needed. Yeah, I got a trade. I got a trade for uh, HVAC. Okay. So like come do you do that the, now? Come fix the heat in this bitch. So do you? Is that what you do now? No. Nah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Like a no. Like, <laughs> what I the do fuck? like? <laughs> like I be like I be like installing like shit like. So yes, but it's like kind of around the same thing. But okay, like, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. still so you working that? So no, a trade no, is actually right. needed. Trade we need tradesmen and women, right? You know, and having a trade is actually a great thing. Yeah, it is. You know, because I just like to do a lot of lot of shit, and I like anything I do. Like, okay, I want to be like the best at that shit. But, you okay, know. are you the best at HVAC? No, no, <laughs> I'm not. Are you working on it? Are you working on being the best? I'm all right. I like to be the best at everything I do, so yeah. Uh, so are you consciously working on being the best at HVAC? Yeah. You should teach your daughter how to do it. Mm, you should. I should, though. Why not? Why yeah, not? Yeah, I'm going to teach her how to do everything. You do. should. Yeah. Absolutely. But we I need gotta, some women doing some uh, HVAC and yeah, heating yeah. and, you know, all of that there stuff. There actually was a woman, like, in my class, though. She was cool as hell. I'm sure she was. Uh, but I bet you she went out to be the best at it. Yeah, I think she is. You know, I bet she you she's killing good, it. Though. She she was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she yeah, teach your daughter. Why not? Yeah, she used to help me with my homework and shit. Exactly. What's her information? Okay. We ain't calling his ass. <laughs> but she helped you with your homework and stuff. Yeah, no, we was just cool. It was just my you know. Okay. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Well, guys, thank you for being here. Trey was late. So, audience, you didn't get to really get much of him, but you got some of him. You know, he was at a tea party, or he had to pick up his daughter from a tea party. Okay, he was on daddy duty. I definitely want to come back if I can make Okay, it. yeah, you can come back, but you got to be on time. I will. I'll be, I'll be earlier. Okay, good, good. Did and this time, earlier? he said he'll be earlier. We he didn't. We know he went to trade school. Okay, <laughs> you didn't take too many English courses. Yeah. Okay, I told you I fuck up. He didn't have to sit with the with the English professor. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Well, he gonna be. I'm be earlier. <laughs> I'll be ten minutes late." <laughs> I didn't okay. miss the food or the drinks this time. <laughs> exactly. He going to show up when the shit come in the door. You was late. Next time, you got to bring the fucking bottle to the show. All right. You know? But no. So thank you guys for being here, Kevin. It was amazing. Appreciate you having me. Yes. Yes. And look, I remember you at Chocolate City's Best because your presentation. Because I told everybody to shut up kindly. You told everybody <laughs> nicely to shut up. Your presentation was amazing. Okay. I, I nibbled on some of these. Um, you did the like like accoutrement. You know, you did the, the little nauseous. The yes. And, the things, and I was like, oh, my God. I want a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where's my plate? Ron and I were standing in the back watching all of the festive, but we were like, Jesus Christ. He came to win. I said, and I didn't. I know, I know. <laughs> we got two minutes, guys. Again, tell everybody really quickly where they can find you. Instagram. Mm. Trey Jones, T-R-A-Y-J-O-I-N-Z-Z. Okay, he's chewing his Guatemalan food, guys. You can Sorry. search me on any... Um, streaming platform. Yeah, streaming platform. And, um... <laughs> Also, you can follow my um my um my vintage page um snap for snap because I do like vintage clothes. I got my own business doing that. Okay, is that where you got this amazing jersey from? Yeah, yeah. It looks vintage. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, um, I'm, it's actually Will Smith actually had the same jersey on. One Did time he? On, um, Did you take a picture and tag him in it? I didn't. Good idea. You should I'm have. Doing it. Uh, this is one of the ones he had on the Fresh Prince, and I'm actually about to. That's the name of my um. My next um, album that I'm going to drop soon. So The Fresh Palm Prince? Trees, yeah. I'm going to name it The Fresh Prince. So. Okay. Hey, Kevin, where um, can they find you again? You can find me every day except Sunday and Wednesday, unless something's happening, <laughs> at Myron Mixon, 220 North Lee Street. It's Old in Town, Old Town, Alexandria. Alexandria, guys. And Old Town is 10 minutes outside of D.C. It's not far. <laughs> Just right over the bridge. Black people, it ain't all the you way. You can o- see Maryland from where we're at. You can see <laughs> Maryland from where it is. It ain't all the way in Virginia. You, you know how black people be like, you know it's right. right. They be like, it's all the way in Virginia. No, nigga, no. It's I 10 like seconds outside of D.C. If you're feeling froggy, you can get on the water taxi. I know we don't have good um, history on boats, <laughs> but like, you can take the boat over there. <laughs> over there, like, like King Street and stuff. Over King Street. There, like, yeah, King, King Street. Yeah. Street yeah. in Old Town. Yeah. yeah. You know that, that, that food place, like White Corners or something like that? White Plains? White Corners? No. Um, that's our going away music. Thank you for tuning in to The Brunch Bitches. If you missed this show... I hope you didn't. If you're listening, you didn't miss the fucking show. But you can go back and listen to all other shows on Spotify, Google, Amazon, Pandora. We're everywhere. Thank you. I never seen a king cry Until I seen a king die Clutch one hand on a hand Praise the God I hold my hand high. And all my niggas they gon' fuck me right If you gon' slide you better hope it be homicide I just might fly and I look my killer right in his eye I just might fly and I watch my daughter right from the sky I'm gone On the from chasing green guys But it don't matter I'm on the road for the meantime We live in me Watch the king cry, I just motivate another nigga to serve the fiend now I'm going bro like this is bad time I hope and pray he get a pill so he can beat all that damn time And we ain't lying, baby, we ain't lying So I know the king's cry for the meantime When I was young, I seen the king die She got me traumatized, I'm going feeling like I'm seeing green lights And we ain't lying, baby, we ain't lying well, I guess the kings cry when the king die. Since we was young, we wanted green guys. And we still writing wrongs, we walk around with them. We ain't fine, and we ain't fine, baby, we ain't lying. Well, I guess the kings cry when the king die. When the king die.
Must 